you guys to think about is when you guys go home tonight and you put your head in the pillow, your heater will kick on and off and keep you guys comfortable. And honestly, you guys probably don't even think about it. It just works. When a big over the road semi truck driver stop for the night, they actually sleep in their truck. And what these guys do is they keep their engines running to keep cool and warm just like we do at home. And so what we do is we look at that and we say, boy, that's terribly inefficient, that there has to be a better way than that. So what we have invented and patented is a system that will automatically start and stop the truck throughout the night to keep the drivers comfortable but save the fleet fuel. So basically how this works is when the driver stops, he turns his engine off and turns our system on, he goes to bed. When it gets too cold in the truck, we will automatically remotely start the truck, blow the heat, and get it comfortable. Then we'll shut the truck off. So again, keeps the driver comfortable, but saves about 50 to 70% of the overnight fuel expense for the fleet. So I'm Ryan Bennett with Auto Smart, and I hope I can tell you a little bit about how we help fleets and also a little bit about our business tonight. And so our product is mounted in the truck and has its sensors and reports all that data through an Android tablet back to remote server. So our customers can log in, see amount of starts, why it started, how long things ran, and other performance metrics. So we love green, we save money, we also save on CO2 emissions. So on average, we save about 12 tons of CO2 emissions per vehicle per year. So why we start and stop the truck, um, that also allows us to have a platform in the truck that pulls off the engine computer data. Now why this matters is that when we pull off this engine computer data and send it to our remote server, um, our customers have now asked us to pull some special data for them. So for us, it's very easy for us to add a subscription model to our platform with very little effort and very little time because the platform allows it. This is also what our customers are asking and willing to pay for, so that's very good. So we see uh, this market as about a $30 billion market. Um, it's pretty un underpenetrated and pretty fragmented. And so about 35% of the market is accounted for, and so that's a pretty big opportunity for AutoSmart. And so what our customers tell us is that we have a pretty unique position um, compared to our competitors. Uh, because we have a four-season solution, uh, that allows the fleets to rely on our technology all year round, as well as that we provided a return on investment that's in one, within one year. So 2016 was a pretty great year for us. Uh, in April, we launched our Android platform, which I described. That leveraged us into being able to get a PO from some of the top 25 fleets in the entire nation, including a strategic partnership with, a, uh, with Volvo, who actually manufactures the truck. We also were, be, were included in the EPA new phase of regulation as a technology that they actually um, approve of and enable. And last of all, we were able to, to have a partnership with Fontaine Modification Center. Now let me tell you a little bit about Fontaine and why that's important to us. Basically 90% of the trucks manufactured in the United States go through this modification center. So what it allows our fleets to do is when they hear about AutoSmart and they want us on their trucks, they literally just check a box at the time of sale. Our product is shipped to Fontaine, it's installed by Fontaine, and the product is now financed through the purchase of the truck. So it's ease of use for our customers. Now that lets us scale our business very effectively. We can match POs to our inventory and help us scale. Now, because of all these things, based on 2016 sales, our partnership with Volvo, regulation, and this partnership, we expect revenues around $3.2 million this year, and top line revenue around $19 million in the next few years. So because of our complete well-rounded solution, we really just see three distinct exit opportunities. Uh, the first is to accelerate growth within um, our current market with partners. The other one is to be a supplement to a, a manufacturer's product alignment, like Volvo or Cummings. And last of all, to be an in-vehicle technology in an adjacent market. And so we really feel this is a very tactical and real approach that could happen in the next 24 to 48 months. So as we close down, um, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. I hope you guys learned a little bit about trucking and learned about our, our business, Idlesmart, and I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. Well, Ryan, first of all, great, great presentation. So what I'm curious about is how does autonomous trucking impact your business? Is that a threat or an opportunity? Um, so we don't quite know how that's going to play out yet. Um, I always see it as an opportunity because our technology is in trucks. We're in the IoT space that autonomous trucking is in. Um, the reality is, is that they're starting to do loads now in the testing phase. The time it takes from getting to that phase to federal regulation because these trucks are going inter interstates. Um, it's going to be quite a bit of time. So we watch it closely, but we don't know exactly how that plays out yet.
question for you. So if you fast forward two years and you look back and you say, all right, it didn't work out, we failed. What's the biggest thing that has you worried? Uh, yeah, what keeps us at night is the sales cycle. The sales cycle is really long. And the reason is, is that um, these guys are just very lag at our technology. Um, they're very old school with their thinking of how technology enables businesses. And the reality is we have a new product that is different enough of what they currently do that takes time for us to cultivate and build the relationship to actually have them try us. And then we have to prove our performance, which we do. It's just that sales cycle is really long for us. So if money's not an issue, how do you shorten that sales cycle? Let's take money off the table. How do you sell it faster? Yeah, um, so the partnership with Volvo, who's the manufacturer, um, as well as that Fontaine piece takes a lot of it out because now this eases the hurdles of the installation and the onboarding and all those pieces. So um, enabling our channel partners actually cuts down our sales cycle because they have that relationship already and we have proven sales behind them. So that helps shorten that cycle. Thank you.